na the one and only Alice Kamande. It's been a minute. Hata watu walikuwa wanauliza, "Ai, kwa nini Alice amepotelea wapi?" Finally she's here. Tutaka tujue anaendelea. Hi. Hi. You good? Kabisa. First of all, you're looking amazing. Sante, thank you so much. Tumuru mm-hmm. yeah. mekuzapa kwa event ya uh, Golden Honor Awards. Maybe tell us more about it. Uh, you come to receive the award. You come to award someone. Uh, let me say it's a short one because uh, uh, I was given a very short notice, like this week. So I was told to come over by Nix. Apparently, I was also coming from. I'm coming from Minister in somewhere else. So I said I have to come because uh, Nix has been such a great support to me, and also from the time. Uh, FEMA Awards started. So I said I have to come and also support and also support whoever is going to be awarded and honored to me. So okay. that's the reason why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been a minute. You've been here for a while. You've been here for a while. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are your plans? I, I have so many plans. Uh-huh. So many things, ziko hash hash though, that's why I'm a bit quiet. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've been really grinding behind the scenes. Okay. I've really been grinding behind the scenes and doing other stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. like I have really been working. Uh, so, many, maybe very soon I'll be able to share with you what I have been doing the whole of this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know I've been quiet, but yeah. Is it challenging maybe because to know the gospel industry say hizi ukiangalia watu wenye wanasema iko shini sana watu kama nyinyi wenye tumeishi kuwajua mkitoa music pia mmetulia but you said you've been working on something so what can you say about gospel industry right now uh, what i can say is um, you know everyone has been called differently but we have one common thing is that we are called to serve God through the gifts that we have so it's a very very personal place where you decide and you decide and also you you accept the call you know to be able to offer what God has given you and sometimes when we keep quiet we're not just quiet for the sake of it we are also quiet to listen because I can't give you something that I do not have you can only give what you have and so most most importantly is that when you we are quiet we are also uh, gaining experience of different things God is taking us through different you know journeys so I, I can't really speak for everyone else I can only speak for myself but um, I have been really working. So while, while, while I'm away from, you know, the public, mm-hmm. um, I'm somewhere doing something. Okay. Yes. Alice is one of the few people while I'm about, they don't put their life on media. They like, wana pena kucheza chini sana. Is it because of the online trolls or why do you keep your life so secret? You know, I came here even before this thing of trolling. I did. We even learned this word trolling just the other yeah. day <laughs> because we we had not grown this yeah. much. You see what you guys are doing. You're mm. doing an amazing job, and you. and and you're putting people and gifts out there. They are getting to be known even more. Yeah. So I didn't come during that era of, of being trolled or anything because there was not so much of Instagram. Facebook yeah, was yeah. just starting, you know. But I don't. From since even before then, I have never been a person who likes to put my life out there. I, I have my own personal life, which I, I am very jealous <laughs> to keep it to myself. But I am so generous to give the world the gift that God has given me to share with them. So yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh, kwa gospel industry pale, mm. uh, wasani wengi wa mekuwepo na wengine wa metoka. Na bado kuna wengine wamebakia pale kwa industry ya gospel yeah. mpaka sasa hivi. Labda kwa ambao bila shaka wametoka, ambao watuta wataja na wenye bila shaka wameza kumintini. Mm. Je, ono na nini imeza kulaka kwa industry ya ya gospel? Uh, mainly I, I feel like, okay, um, mentorship. Imekua ni changamoto sana na kupata mtu ambaye meza kushikilia. Kwa sababu even kwangu mimi nikianza nilikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa na nishikilia. Nilikuwa na watu ambao wana ni, wana ipati ile motisha. Wana nionyesha them even before I started singing. So, hiyo before even you get out there kwa public. I always say huwezi mentor mtu bila ataimba kwa sababu hiyo ni gift. That is God given. But what to do, how to behave and, and exactly life in general. You know, there, there are some things that are virtues that you can only learn by staying with people who already can mentor you. So it's very, very important. And for me, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to
kutembea na wewe akuonyeshe njia and what to do and also pia we mwenyewe you have to take that initiative you grow in the word of god because if you're doing gospel music it's not like any other kind of music it, the foundation is the word of god so kama hiyo hiyo foundation haiko inakuwa ni ngumu sana to speak to, to to that one thing being consistent for years takes a lot of we mwenyewe kuji keep in a place where unakuwa founded we mwenyewe it has to start from you kumaanisha kwamba wale ambao kidogo hivi wametaiguka hawana uh, ile mentorship kutoka background pale au mtoto ah siwezi sema hivyo because watu ni tofauti lakini nasema maybe that could be one of the ways lakini pia initiative ni wewe mwenyewe if god has called you he has really called you you will know it you will feel it deep inside of you so for, for you to work for god it has to start from that place where wewe mwenyewe unajikiti in a place where unaweza jua more what does god want me to do it's not about what do people want me to do what does god want me to do wewe mwenyewe unajipatia hiyo foundation then if, if you are really called god you also bring the right people to help you to mentor you sababu hakuna mtu ana stand on their own all by themselves we all work together to make this thing work so that the gospel of Christ goes out there sio kazi ya mtu mmoja ni kazi ya kila mtu ana you bring in one thing and another we all gifted differently but at the end of the day it's for the glory of God Okay. At some point do you think Kenyans are not supportive they don't support actually that is the uh, speculation that you make Kenyans they are not supporting each other unapata ali ametoa music but hakuna hata artist anashare umetoa ni wewe ujijaribia kujitafutia venye utashare music yako do you think there is no support in Kenya I think it's a culture you know that's not something even we can really push people yeah. when we, we 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 have seen that happening for a very long time but i believe that when you have the favor of god it, it just breaks every barrier you know it just breaks every barrier because at the end of the day even as much as you do all that marketing and all that you can do all that and it's it's actually very important to do that because if you don't do the marketing people do don't get to know that there's a certain product that is out there so i believe that also for us as kenyans we need to embrace each other we need to also support whatever as long as it's something positive and good then it should be something to be celebrated okay yes. a word of uko na swali kabla tumalize labda uh, watu wanafanya vitu kwa sababu ya business waweze kupata pesa mm-hmm. maybe wanatoka uh, kwa industry gospel wanasema wengi ambao ni interact na wanasema uko pesa nikana kwamba hakuna kabisa mm-hmm. ukienda pande hii unapata watu wengi wanakuita wanataka kufanya na wewe kazi kwa sababu maybe wanaona una hit mm-hmm. lakini on the wrong side mm-hmm. labda kwa kwa utasemaje acha nisemaye kuna mali kuna pesa <laughs> kama kuna pesa gospel pia kuna pesa yeah. so the, the thing is at the end of the day ina depend ni nini hiyo ambayo ina ku draw kufanya kitu yoyote is it money if it's money then you will move because of the money yeah. at the end of the day hakuna uh, 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 siezi sema gospel kuna pesa siezi sema secular kuna pesa kuna tule decision mtu ana make because anafikiria nikienda kule labda nitakuwa na pesa but you see even the word of god says either self god or mammon so you decide which unachagua tu imaje unachagua okay a word of encouragement to a youth who is watching you right now maybe ako lost aje anze wapi amalizie wapi ah anyone who feels lost uh, let me say that um, jesus is the only way the truth and the life that's all i can say yes he is the way the truth and the life so if you're looking for a way look for god look for jesus thank you so much alice <laughs> thank you so much you're welcome bless you